how does the cost coming to your center compare to having a birth if everything goes well and you know sometimes it doesn't what does it cost to have a birth in a hospital I have seen bills upwards of $50,000 that moms have showed me. So in this day and age, I am truly unsure. I don't even understand how hospitals can get away with this. Another thing that I understand about hospitals is they're just charging for every little thing that they give you. I mean, it's like you need two Tylenols, that'll be $25. <laughs> Um, that, that to me is just highway robbery in my opinion, but I think it was my cousin who screenshotted me her bill from the hospital, what they had intended on billing or whatever her insurance company, and it was upwards of $50,000. And she just had a regular vaginal delivery, no C-section, no anesthesia, no nothing. It was literally upwards of $50,000. And so... While I can't even believe that they would charge things, something like that for you know the birth of a child, um, it, it is being done. And so that, that's why a lot of people do also choose to come to an out-of-hospital setting as well, is um, in addition to the support and all of the resources that we are going to facilitate to you, there shouldn't be any surprises. <laughs> um, we've already discussed what your package is going to be, how much it's going to cost, worked out your payment arrangement, taken your payment. You are all paid up by 36 weeks. And so after that, you're home free. You don't have to worry about any surprise bills showing up in your mailbox or, oh, I forgot to you know, pay for this or pay for that. We actually have a billing department that takes care of all of that. And so they are going to make sure that your bill and your payment arrangement is kept and that all of your things are taken care of prior to birth. You're not going to get surprises at three months down the road after you've had your baby, a $10,000 bill is going to show up. And it sounds like when it's finally all said and done, it'll be a, a small fraction of what it would be at a hospital. Absolutely. I mean, depending on what package and what level of care you uh require at the I shouldn't say what level of care you require but where you're kind of at when you come into care and what amount of care you're going to need that's what you're going to pay for um, also in the hospital setting they run a lot of tests that are unnecessary they're giving women IVs they're doing continuous monitoring they're you know <laughs> giving you all kinds of different drugs and treatments and things like that and most of the time what is even crazier to this is women have not even consented to any of this they have not even consented to any of this i've seen doctors cut big old episiotomies without the women's consent you know and so that, that believe me that that's an additional bill you know they're charging you to cut it and they're charging you to fix it and you didn't even know it happened, you know. So that is another amazing thing about what we do is we're able to keep women, women and families within a budget. We can make this affordable. This is the birth of your child, you know. We want to help you do it the, what, the way that's right for you. 